Yo, how are you doing? It's been a long time since I've seen you. And I'm still alive. My time has legitimately been spent all day, every day with clients. Helping people who have reached out to me saying, Chase, I stutter and what you said resonated with me. How can I get you to help me? We hop on a call we figure, and we figure it out and we see where he's stuck, where he wants to go. I've been helping those people. And so, of course, this stuff would come second. But I want to pop in here and say, yo, if you're having trouble with phone calls, this is something we've talked a lot, a lot, a lot with my clients recently and getting them over this fear, getting them over the constant anxiety and anticipation of hearing the buzz. Oh my God, who's calling me right now? That fear, that, that heat you get put in. It's not a fun way to live. Like just being blunt. It's not a fun way to navigate this world if you're always looking out for the next phone call. Whenever your boss or your mom or your dad tells you, all right, um, can you call the doctor? You get cramped up with this tension. That's, that's not enjoyable, all right? So let's break down why we are like this with phone calls especially and then what we can do about it. Before I get into it, I just, want to I just want to remind you, my name is Chase Gillis. I help people overcome stuttering in the authentic way without speech techniques, but by looking at why we are holding back in the first place, where, where is our self-esteem? Why are we having anxiety in, this, anxiety in this situation and digging at the roots of it? Not focusing on the speech, but focusing on the underlying issues as a byproduct, the speech gets a lot better. All right, so let's first take a look at this right now. Phone calls and stuttering, why? Why specifically phone calls give us a lot of anxiety, make us stutter more, put us more in our heads? The first reason why is it's repressive. Unless you haven't watched my videos for a while and you forgot this, everything repressive will make you stutter more. Everything repressive will make you stutter more if you're repressing your emotions. If you're repressing your actions, what you wanna do, it's gonna make you stutter more. Everything expressive will be beneficial for you, all right? Now, why is phone calls re re repressive? Because only your voice is at play here. And you're only focusing on your voice. In conversations, one-on-one, -on -one, in person, you may be focusing on your movements. You may be focusing on other things around you. And you're scoping out the area and you're kind of being present there. But when it's only your voice, you're zoning in and you're just focusing on your own voice, trying to make it fluent you stifle yourself everything else gets very repressive we get put into this fight or flight mode where we are so caught in our heads with our how we're speaking that every word is like a trigger and we can't say that word and we can't say that word and we have to scope out exactly what we want to say and we just repress we stutter one time we don't like the way that feels and we repress and we hold these emotions inside of us. It's a very repressive way of talking. That's like if you go up and speak to someone in person, you don't move your body or anything and you're just focusing on your voice when you're talking like this. Like that's, that's not a, that's not a real, that's not a real way to connect. That's not a real way to express. All right. So, the first thing to realize, well, let's just go through the why first and then we'll get to what do we do about this. The next thing is we're easily judged on the phone. We're easily judged. And as you know, the more you value other people's judgments of you, the more you're gonna to try to be perfect around them. 
the more you're going to try to please them, the more you're going to try to prove yourself to them, the more you're going to try to pretend around them. And anytime you do one of those four P's, prove, please, pretend, or perfect, you're going to stutter more because you're giving yourself tension. You're actually feeding yourself tension because what you're saying is who I am right now is not good enough. And I need to be someone else. I need to be this front. I need to be this version of me that is fucking perfect. And only then am I safe to express myself. It's not possible. It's absolutely not possible. And we feel easily judged on the phone because we are so ashamed of our stutter. We think our stutter is such a negative thing. And when no one else sees anything about our, our body language, about the way we're communicating, just hears our voice, we put so much pressure on that, which we feel so, so easily judged by. And they're not seeing you in, in person, so their judgments can hurt a lot more because they can be a lot more blunt with it. So we're in this, again, this fight or flight mode because we don't want to get judged. So we put up this front, but this front we're living in is making us stutter more, is making us le less authentic, it's making us more fake, which is not good for our speech. It's not good for our happiness. It's not good for our fulfillment. So how, what do we do about this? How do we actually get past this? The first thing is connected with the repressive and we must develop an expressive identity. An expressive identity does not mean yelling. It does not mean we're always talking up here. And this is life and blah, blah, blah. That's not expressive. Like that is expressive, but that's not what I mean by expressive. What I mean by expressive is seeing how you truly feel inside and expressing that while feeling safe. When you can express how you truly feel at the same time feeling safe to do so, it comes with ease. It comes naturally because it's only when we, we do not feel safe to express ourselves, we get put in our head. We anticipate, we repress. The next thing is deep inner work and reflection to reflect on these. All right. So we feel easily judged based upon our relationship with judgment. I can make a phone call right now and stutter every single word and not feel judged in the slightest. Why? Because it's my relationship with judgment. I've changed my relationship with how I view other people's judgments of me. I have done so much work that I'm able to see the truth of it now. And I know the truth of it is they're never fucking judging me. It's always their inner shit that's going on inside of them that's getting reflected onto me. Whatever I do is a reflection of them. And it's one thing to say that, but it's another, it's another thing to understand that. And the only way to understand that it's got is by put is is by going through consistent actions to allow your brain to actually pick up this as a new reality and until you do that you're going to be constantly in fight with trying not to get judged by others the best thing you can do for yourself right now is become carefree is to not give a fuck what other people think of you this takes work this takes a process but it's the best thing you can do for yourself and some more deep work you you have to do is look at the relationship with yourself more and specifically the relationship with your stutter do you view it do you view it as a negative thing do you do you view it as something that should not happen as something that makes you look weird as something that devalues you as something that other people will not want to hang around in a group setting all those beliefs are bullshit but all those beliefs are what is making you a repressive person is what making you hold back because you're believing all this negative stuff about your stutter. And when you stutter and you're saying I'm bad because of that, that makes you not want to show your true self. Now it makes you want to put up, put it up a front because you believe your true self is not valid in this conversation anymore. You must please them. You must be perfect. 
And that's, again, not a way for connection. That's not a way for enjoyable conversations. When was the last time you had an enjoyable conversation? When was the last time you picked up the phone, you talked to a dentist, you talked to a stranger, and you just flowed? Why not? Why haven't you? It's because the inner work, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with your stutter, your relationship with other people's judgments of you, your repressive identity is holding you back. And it's restricting you from showing your true self. Bull fucking leave me. The world needs to see the true you. You need to see the true you because you know you can already speak fluently. You can do it by yourself. You can do it when you talk to a pet. Why does it change when you talk to another human being? Realizing the why. Everything that connects that. It's not your speech. You already know how to speak. You do not need to practice speaking. It's the inner work we need to do with the judgments of others. With why, why we are valuing their judgment so fucking highly. Why our self-esteem is so low when everyone else is speaking fluently around us. Why is it like that? Focusing on that, addressing the real root issues here, is what has allowed me to overcome my stutter and what's allowing all my clients to do so as well. So like I said, I don't know when my next video is going to be because I'm so busy with clients. But I do have a few extra spots right now. So if you are looking to overcome your stutter, not through the classical speech, ther speech therapy way where you repeat certain words or you use speech techniques, if you don't want to go down that route, you want to address the real root issues that will allow you to overcome your stutter for good for the rest of your life then look at the closest link down below in the description. You can book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me, which is really, I just look at your application form. I see where your struggles are. I get on a quick call with you and see exactly what's going on in your brain. I see where you're struggling with and what your goals are to see if I can even help, help you get there to see if we would be a good fit to work together. All right. So if you're interested in that, look at the closest link down below in the description. And uh, I hope it's made a lot of sense to you. All right. Don't be scared of phone calls. Work on the inner shit. I love you. Peace.